The last couple of years, more people have been banking their stem cells, but not from blood. It's actually from their teeth. In tonight's Health Beat, Kelloland's Sophie Heineman shows us the simple process and how it could help your health. All right, let's take a look at everything back here. Dr. Dennis Miller at Siouxland Oral Maxillofacial Surgery says he was exposed to dental stem cell banking early on due to being in the field. Stem cells from teeth are what they call mesenchymal, so they can be turned into other kinds of tissue, uh, bone, neuron, uh, heart cells, skin cells, muscle, tendons, all that kind of stuff. Miller says because of a medical issue, he chose to participate. So I have coronary artery disease. And so uh, my choice is, as I get older, probably around 65, is um, probably a bypass. Uh, my blockages are starting in areas where it's very difficult to stent them. His hopes are that by the time he needs treatment, there will be a stem cell therapy that will offer an alternative to surgery. So they're cells that can basically become other cells as needed. So by banking these cells, you're investing in the fact that you may need these down the line or a family member may need these. The cells are taken from the pulp of an extracted tooth, commonly from wisdom teeth. For those who have already had their wisdom teeth out, dentists say don't worry. You can still benefit from the banking. George says anyone at any age can do this, just as long as the tooth is alive and you're able to have it extracted. I had a cracked tooth. It wasn't dead. It didn't have a big cavity in it. So I knew the pulp was alive because it hurt. The pulp is then sent off to a banking company to be stored until needed. It's about $2,000, and then there's usually about a $50 or $100 a month um, fee for preserving them and keeping them in cryopreservation. Um, in our facility, it doesn't cost us anything to just take the tooth and drop it in the bucket, so we don't charge any extra for it. While the price point may be steep for some, George says he highly recommends it. Normally, these teeth are just discarded as medical waste. So it's just a matter of, of putting them into a different container, sending them off, and you now have banked your future for health. With HealthBeat, uh, I'm Sophie Heineman. Yeah. For more much. information on dental stem cell banking, just go to the story at kelloland.com.